The podcast you're about to watch and or listen to discusses Halloween, ghost stories, and the supernatural. Honestly, it gets a little spooky. So if this is something you're not interested in, we encourage you to turn this off right now. Maybe watch a rom-com, go take your dog for a walk, or go watch last week's episode. Either way, take this as a warning. Check, check, one, two, one, two, check, check, one, two. Sounds good. Good. All right, here we go. <clears throat> this is Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. 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 This is Halloween. 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 This is Halloween. I didn't. I don't know if you guys, did you, did, did you guys hear that? That car going by? That's fine. We're in the shot. Okay. It's all part of it. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies. We're in... Nashville, Tennessee. Baby. Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, hey, how's it going, Nashville? Yeehaw, baby. We are here on a conference, and we decided to do a Halloween podcast on the rooftop of our Airbnb. Because Halloween is in like three days, so it is when this comes out. They don't know that though, so it's in three days. They know now. Yeah, they know now. It's it's the twenty eighth. I am very close to when we're recording this, but we we dressed up. If you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll get into that in a little bit. We have a very important question, though, don't we? In a yeah. little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta talk about our first question. No, this is actually, yeah, this is actually a really topic. important question. Yeah. yeah. Um, the question is, and we'll start with Jace. Um, Jace, our guest, our guest. Jace. He is. What's your position? Brand manager. Brand manager at Sunday Cool Tees. Yep. And we are all here at the conference. There's Batman. What's your name? Uh, Luigi. Okay. Nailed it. And we got Jace <laughs> over there, actually. Um, Hello. Jace actually looks like a uh, like Comic-Con Pocahontas or Mulan. He looks like he's uh, cosplaying as just the lead singer of My Chemical Romance. <laughs> it's both, actually. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, both. yeah it's, it's both. It's yeah. Pocahontas. I'm going to multiple parties. It's My Chemical Pocahontas. Hey, <laughs> I don't want to interrupt this, but we have to actually really get into this question because it's been bothering you me. You started. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Um... The question is, do people from the South lack intelligence? Mm. Mm. Jace. And this well, was submitted by a viewer. It, this yeah. was. This they was basically not, said, are people in the South dumb? And I'm, we're like, okay, easy, bud. Hey. We want to be respectful. Yeah. No matter where you agree. So, yeah. Jace, yeah. So, Jace, what's your opinion? Wait, what's the question? I s okay. I, I, uh, it, our, <laughs> My ADD is kicking in, like, really hard okay. right now. Are people from the South lacking intelligence? I mean, as a whole, we traveled north to go to the south. Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 So we did meet a lot of people that did not have a lot of intelligence on the road. Whoa. Jeez. Whoa. Okay. All right. We almost got but into- But as a whole, would you like say- But like as a whole. Do? Um, I don't know. Interesting. <laughs> so undecided. Undecided? Undecided. <laughs> I don't know any people from the south other than- the five of us. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Yeah. That's fair. And yeah. so I'm glad there's so six the fact, people on the roof. <laughs> so the fact that we're only the people that you know from the South and you're un still undecided whether the people from the South have lack of <laughs> intelligence. Cool. That I makes love, me feel I good. love you guys just wholeheartedly. So uh, you could just I don't, I don't judge you guys at all. They do not lack intelligence. Yeah. That's, they don't like intelligence. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's interesting. That's actually very interesting because yeah. I think people from the South, they could be smart. They can be. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So so my answer to my question is, what was my question? Do they lack intelligence? No. I don't believe so either. Welcome to the show. <laughs> Ninjas are butterflies. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly is no doubt one of God's <laughs> most you were martial arts. Pop ninja attack! It's it's Halloween. It's it's Halloween. Welcome to Halloween. It is kind of scary. Boo! I'm a ghost. Boo! I'm a vampire. Boo! I'm a skeleton. Ah! Welcome to Ninjas Arp Helicopter. Helicopter. Welcome to Ninjas or Butterflies, the Halloween episode. Woo! All Hallows Eve. If you guys can Woo! guess in the comments what I'm dressed as, you win a prize. So pause right now and guess, and then you can tell them. Yeah. Freeze. So, Halloween. What a topic. Man. One of my favorite holidays. 
Is it really? Yeah, because I just there's you can eat candy all day long, and it's not even a not even a thing, and you get to steal from your children. Oh, because like the okay, I yeah, okay. and okay. you're doing a good parenting bad, good parenting duty by taking that candy away from them. Yeah, mm. yeah. See, my body's already decomposing past the point of repair. My kids still have a chance. That's one way to say it. Yeah. Um, I was never allowed to trick or treat or celebrate Halloween growing up. When was the first time you ever celebrated? it? You celebrate it now? Uh, I wouldn't say I celebrate it. Well, you guys dress up, though. We did. Did you say you don't celebrate it as dressed as a convict right now? <laughs> <laughs> is this celebration or is this Yeah, just it's a, ob- observing it in some way. Observing. <laughs> <laughs> we are observing Halloween. People observe holidays, <laughs> and you're observing it. Maybe you're, you're celebrating it maybe not to the full extent other people do. It's just like it's, we're just like, yeah. yeah. But you're not anti-Halloween. It's like if, if like in Christmas. Yeah. Like some people celebrate, observe if, it. If, a, if someone's a lot more intense. like Jewish, they go to a Christmas party. They're probably going to wear a green sweater. That doesn't mean that they're like observing Christmas. That just means they're like, yeah, we're like, um, this is Christmas. All yeah. the Jewish people, if you go to Christmas parties, tell us what you wear because I'm really curious. Yeah, now. yeah, that's actually I've ne- very interesting. I honestly, I don't know if I've ever, I've never gone out of my way to invite a Jewish person to my Christmas party, and maybe that's a bad thing. Maybe I need to change maybe. that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe that's that's something I'm going to work on. That's something personal. Ben is uh, part Jewish. Oh, yeah. you've come to yeah, you came to my Christmas party last year. Yeah, you're yeah, fun. He's celebrating. Yeah, right now. Perfect. <laughs> um, um, yeah. So growing up, I wasn't allowed to trick or treat, all that stuff. Yeah. Um, but that's kind of like a, it's almost like a fifty-fifty with when you grow up in the church, whether people celebrate or not. Yeah, it wasn't. My parents weren't like, you can't. Yeah. It's more my grandma. Yeah. Which Gammy, if you're watching this, we love Gammy. I don't. I don't know if she watches this honestly. She 100 percent does. She's watching right oh, now. Yeah. Well, Gammy, so, I love you. Gammy yeah. is very opposed to Halloween, which. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. You know, that's fine. We're allowed to our ideas. Jewish people don't celebrate Christmas. Do that I? Is, that's true. I don't, I, we don't hold it against them. I thought you just said they did by wearing sweaters. No, they I didn't say anything they, they about just, that. They go to parties. I'm lost. It's okay. That's all right. <laughs> so I, I'm Southern. I'm on sorry. on on today's tonight. Ooh, oh. we've never Spooky. done a podcast oh. at night. And on a rooftop. We're on a rooftop in Nashville. So if you guys can't tell, you can say we're on a rooftop. We got Jace. We did say that. You do have Jace. Yes. Beautiful Jace, our brand manager. Aww. Wonderful person. Jace, did you trick or treat as a child? I did, and it sucked. Why? Oh. Okay, so I hate Halloween. You should probably go back and say stinked. <laughs> it stinked. Oh, that sucks. But I hate <laughs> Halloween. <laughs> I hate Halloween because uh, one time when we were, I think it was like fourth grade or fifth grade, we all dressed up and I dressed up as a ghost. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we didn't have, we we couldn't go, or not that we couldn't go, but I just didn't really care to go get a costume. Right. So I think my mom just took a sheet and cut holes yeah. for the eyes and the mouth. Yeah. And then we did the little parade thing. And I thought I was like, oh, this is cool. This is fun. I'm in America, and like we are. <laughs> I'm in America. <laughs> I, I'm exper- <laughs> I, I, listen. I'm just happy to be here, guys. <laughs> I'm experiencing um, Halloween as yeah. a kid, and then as we pass by, one of the moms was like, "Oh, look at the little ghost. His eyes are on his nose." So I was looking through one hole the whole time, and then yeah. when I heard that, I'm like, "What a dumb ghost!" And I realized it was me. So. Ever since fourth, fifth grade, I haven't really yeah. cared for it. Mm. Candy, yeah. though, love all day long. Oh, like, yeah. 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 Just go around with a trash bag uh, to all the neighbors and have yeah. them fill it up. What's the best Halloween candy? What's the, the best? Nerds. Um, Kit Kat? Nerds. Nerds. Wow. So Nerds. you're a sweet guy. Uh, you're sweet. You're a sweet guy. Look at you. Yeah. He's a sweet guy. Yeah. Nerds are really good. Um, For me, it's anything with, like, peanut butter. So, like, Reese's. Yeah, 100%. The, the pumpkins. The Reese's pumpkins. Oh, yeah. That's all, yeah. actually. The but only cold? Do you put them in the fridge before you eat them, or do you I, eat I them? I can. The I think the best frozen candy is Twix. Ooh, that seems no, like a ooh. That's, that's just my. That hurts my teeth I've, even thinking I've, about it. I've done it, and it just gets stuck to my teeth because it's a hundred percent. I think candy or in the Twix. fridge or a freezer is a hundred percent an adult thing. I For never sure. had cold candy as a kid. Sure, my favorite candy is Skittles, and I put it in the freezer, and I just like broke my teeth. <laughs> that's smart. I love that. <laughs> I forget Andrew That's was here. <laughs> <laughs> he just chimes in. My favorite Skittles. I like Skittles. Skittles. <laughs> I like Skittles. 
<laughs> you're still here. Okay. I just want to be seen. When you said, when you said, when you talked about your, like that costume, that's probably your worst costume as a child, right? That was the worst. I had my horrible. worst costume as a kid is whenever my parents bundled it up. And I mean that as in, <laughs> oh, they found out I had a school play in the spring. And so they said, we're going to build you like a school play. So you're not even going to, you're not even going to be able to guess what I played in the school play. Dorothy and Wizard of Oz. I don't know what the play was, but for some reason, I had to be Pepper Jack Cheese. (laughs) The cheese. That's awesome. And so, so, so what happened? No, it was, it was a part of the play. It was, I can't remember what it was about. And uh, they're just, it was just, everyone had real important parts and they're like, I don't know, just give Andy a cheese or something. I'd just go. It probably was Wizard of Oz, but for some reason in the corner, there's just a pepper, pepper jack cheese. But it was like fourth or fifth grade. And um, uh, we get, went home and my parents built a box for me to wear. And you know, you think it would be like a cardboard box, right? Yeah. No. They built it out of plywood. <laughs> Legit, a box of plywood with holes in the middle and a hole on top. And as so a I'm, child? As an elementary schooler. <laughs> so I'm walking into school and it's this white so with like heavy. with black <laughs> with with green and red um, dots on the side uh. to make it look like pepper jack. And it's just it's incredibly heavy. I can't bend I can only bend at my elbows because it's so big. <laughs> it was an awful experience. But then they're like, we made that. That's what you're gonna go as Halloween too, mm. if you're if you're fine with that. I'm like, I don't want. And they're like, that's it's no poor like, Andy. Be, 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 so you wore trick or treating. I you did, went I from house to, to house. Go trick or treating as a kid. <laughs> did you want to? Yeah. Would you have gone as a pepper jack? I would have gone at a cube of pepper anything. Jack? Okay, well, literally anything. I'm sorry. I I didn't. I I should yeah. have thought about you. At so that how time. dare you? I should have thought about you. First time I went trick or treating, I think I was maybe twelve. Really? Yeah. Where'd you go? Like with your parents? They let, allowed no, it was you to go to friends. Co- it was with my cousin. Oh yeah, yeah. Chandler. Did you get Chandler in Stevens. Uh, no. Yeah. But that's we, good. We just didn't tell Gammy. Do you remember what your Halloween costume was? Your first um, one? for a long time because I just didn't know. Yeah. What to do? It was just a homeless person, and yeah, I just used the clothes I had. <laughs> so. And you just I, continued that through just, high school and stuff. Just rub, <laughs> rub some dirt on my face. It's perfect. Yeah, in in high school, yeah. so like Spirit Week, you know, like remember I Spirit love, Week? I love this story. Yeah, yeah. yeah so like yeah, each day yeah. was like you dressed up as something else. So yeah. they would have like Blue and White Day or Patriotic Day, or each grade has a different color. My senior year, they called it Josh Hooper Day. <laughs> one of the days, and it wasn't like a small school. <laughs> it's a big school. No, it was relative. I went to a school with sixty people, so okay, your yeah, school was yeah, big. yeah, it was bigger. Yeah. Um. But they called it Josh Hooper Day, which it, it was Homeless Day, <laughs> which um, so we all dress up like homeless people. Which looking back, it's like that's really mean. Yeah, that's super. Like mean. how did like how did the administration just allow? Not that? mean to me, but like mean to like homeless people. It's like, but, but also if you didn't have the um, the uh, confidence that you had, yeah, and like the maturity of it, like everyone's like, let's just dress like this guy because yeah. he dresses weird. I was into it. That's awesome. That's like, great. Cool, I, just, I love that. I think I'll that's just amazing. wake up and go to school, and I'm <laughs> set. And everyone just dresses like me. Yeah. So um, I think officially in the yearbook they called it Hobo Day. Yeah. But yeah. We all knew. It was Josh Hooper We all Day. knew. Yeah. That's awesome. I love Halloween. Halloween's great, but not yeah. everyone loves it, which is fine. And there's some people that have probably turned this podcast off because yeah. we are talking about or look dressed up. No, yeah, it's okay. Costumes. I mean. That's all right. I've heard. And uh, maybe look this up. I didn't look it up before this podcast, but I heard that Halloween was, it was a pagan holiday Uh and the early Christians used to dress up and do candy and all that stuff to make a mockery out of the pagan holiday. Mm. I don't know if you've ever heard that. I've heard so many origin stories. And at this point it's like, I don't know who to believe. Mm. And so it's uh, it's a yearly thing. We're like, yeah, we're doing it. We don't, yeah, we don't care. We don't, all Hallows Eve, Reformation Day, all that stuff. Yeah, so it's Hallows Eve. Oh, yeah, that the city, the city, the city lights, Nashville. Oh man. Uh, so since it's Halloween, Jace. Yes. <coughs> Andy has a ghost story. Oh. Those are the best. A spooky story. Spooky. Should we turn turn the light? I off? love how you're just doing this. Like you're, I don't know. Like That's you're, it's crazy. So natural for you. Wow. Yep. You're telling me as a spooky this story. Is, That's crazy. This, this is natural for me, though. Just, just 
Tell me, tell me more. Uh, I'm getting some of my beard in my long hair. <laughs> all I don't right, even let's know what let, this begins. let's set this up. All right, well, you let's do um, uh, a quick ad break. Oh, yeah, yeah. Might as well. <laughs> ad break. Okay. Sunday. Cool. Tease. Hey, Josh. Yeah, Andy. Do you like things? Shirts, apparel that's super soft and remarkably good quality? I would say yes. Well, then look no further. Sundaycool.com has all your apparel needs at a remarkable price and a remarkable buying experience. You should do it. I would say that's pretty good for an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Halloween think ad over. <laughs> oh, well, I mean, we'll just say Sundaycool.com. Yeah, Sundaycool.com. Go there. What's the phone number? Uh, right here. Ask. You asked. Dang it. 800-865-0726. Oh. oh, there you go. We got it. Boom. Can you catch this real quick, though? One, two, three. Got it. Now give it to Mario. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Perfecto. Add over. All right. Boom. <gasps> Did that scare you? No, because I could... Well, oh. if it didn't, just wait. <laughs> just wait, Jace, <laughs> the brand manager of Sunday Cool Tees, or better known as, what do you think your character is right now? What 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 would you say that you're dressed as? Andrew. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And he's you. Andy and Andrew's me. We're pretty much the same person. Yeah. 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 I'm more fatherly <laughs> for him, though. Yep, yep. That's true. <laughs> that is very true. Um, We have a ghost story. True. I've heard it, and it still scares me. True ghost story. Yeah. This is 100% real. Very true. And I'm actually scared for you to say it. And it's, it's, it's hard to say even go, ghost story. Goat story. It's just a <laughs> scary story. <laughs> it's just a scary story. <laughs> did I say goat? Goat. You did, but Okay, you okay. Got it, got it. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a scary story. Yeah. Wait, what? Did I said it wasn't I, true. No, I'm saying it is 100 percent true. Oh. I just don't. I, I don't ever classify it as a ghost story. I classify it as a very scary story. I don't. Okay. I can't explain it. Yeah. 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 I don't know if I believe in ghosts. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah. it's weird. Yeah. I believe very... in the supernatural. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Button. <laughs> what is the essence of ghost? The essence again with the essence. What button are you talking about? Your scary button. <sighs> Nailed it. <laughs> Golly. From the top. Here we go. What's the essence of a button? <laughs> Obviously, Andrew doesn't know. <laughs> All right. Um, you want me to hump, jump yeah, into it? Yeah, let's set the mood. <laughs> set the mood with a scary thing. Oh. Here's the scary story from Andy. All right. This takes place. <laughs> <laughs> so here it goes. Um, so in 2018... Okay. I was living in Joplin, Missouri at the time, and me and my buddy Caleb uh, were hanging out on Halloween night. This that, That's what makes this story extra creepy. Uh, it was Halloween night, and we were trick-or-treating, and we ended the night at their house, right? Okay. And Caleb on the side, as a side gig, um, does ghost hunting, and he has all nice. the professional equipment, thousands of dollars worth of equipment, I would guess. I what, what, what would be professional equipment for ghost hunting just yeah. for the viewers well anything a, like a, you see those ghost hunting shows I mean you see like the readers and stuff um, okay. the, uh, the microphones the I, I have no idea I can't explain basically it. everything just, we have here <laughs> that more specific stuff oh, okay. towards yeah, things yeah, yeah. so yeah, yeah. Um, so he, he's very legit he has like a you know it's all put together and he's uh, had some success in the past and uh, and it's really exciting well, and I've gone with him once before <laughs> what what is he, is he <laughs> trying to catch the ghost <laughs> I catch ya. Success. <laughs> <laughs> what is success? I'm just trying to explain no, no, what no, no. my boy I know. Caleb does. I know. Success as in like the things I'm about to tell you oh. that you're so impressed by that you want me to tell this story of. That's what it was. Ben, if you continue to look at me like this the whole time, he's been doing that the whole time. Stop it. <laughs> all right, this is scary. off the rails. This what is happening right now? He's it's that psychotic. It's all right. It's um, all right. Um, so anyway, um, he tells me he's like, listen, uh, I have a chance to go to somewhere, uh, you know, outside in Kansas, a real small town. What? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just, there's a lot. Okay, 
All right, restarting. Here we go. Um, so so he had some success. <laughs> <laughs> long story short, no, no, no here, no, here's the story. No, no, long story okay, short, okay. we went to a town. And it was uh, just a, it was a small town, small business. We went inside. They put like a bunch of like readers all around the room, and uh, we just basically walked through the house. And there was one time where I went upstairs. Wait, just go back. What was this house? Because <laughs> you didn't explain that. That's okay. that's a big part of the yeah. story. Okay, so we went to a small town in Kansas. Very, very, very small town. Long story short, let's go back to the long <laughs> part. <laughs> Benjamin. I'm being a hundred percent serious. Hey, you hey, Mario, have to chill. Stop. You have to stop. That face is ridiculous. Yeah, Mario, <laughs> chill for a second. You have to chill. All right. So, remember for the edit, I'm going to say a small town once again. We went to a small town in Kansas, and there was a uh, town, uh, a city there. Oh, my goodness, I'm so <laughs> scatterbrained right now. There's no city we went to a small town in Kansas, and there was this building there that had been there for over a hundred years, whatever. And it got to the point where it was one of those historical buildings that was just a lot of rooms. So they started renting out each individual room to small businesses in the area, photo studios, uh, like a, there was a masseuse there. And then the guy that owned it lived upstairs. Okay. And there was uh, rumors apparently that in this building, there was a little girl that was haunting this place. Now. To keep you up with my mindset, I don't believe in ghosts. Right. I don't, I don't, I'm speaking as a person back then, I didn't believe in spirits or ghosts or anything supernatural. I just like being scared. I would go to haunted houses all the time during okay. ha like the Halloween times because I like being scared. I'm like, yeah. dude, that sounds like a blast. Let's go. So, so it's kind of like ignorance is bliss yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I, one, I don't encourage anyone to do this because this is just this is not smart. Yeah. Um, so we, we get in the car and it's like 10 o'clock at night. It's already dark kids are gone and so me and him drive to this small town in kansas and we meet these people outside the building and we walk in and the guy that's um there uh starts telling us the story so there's four people total the one guy is the the owner of the building we walk in and the guy's telling us the story about this little girl right she's in a white dress and she's you know been seen like by several people people out of town people have not heard the story before so it's getting to the point where like okay i need some help figuring out what's going on here. So he doesn't know what to do, so he calls Caleb because he knows him. And so... Like the Ghostbusters. Exactly. Yeah. Who, are gonna who are you going to call? They, they, they asked, who are you going to call Ghostbusters, Mr. Caleb? Or Caleb. Who and are you going to so, call? And they're... Call Caleb. Call, yeah, they, exactly. Just like Who's the had jingle. success. <laughs> In the past, five with star, other things. With five-star rating. Which, success <laughs> is apparently pretty vague. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we walk in and I'm just like, I'm spooked out already. It's fun. You know, you're just in a creepy building. And so we start walking up the stairs uh, because he says there's been a lot of uh, um, activity up there. So I'm already skeptical. I'm already laughing. I'm already trying to like, you know, just I'm just getting in the mode. And so we get up there and in each room we place a recorder because um, that's apparently a thing. Every time you go back and you like see if there's any spikes in the recordings. And we're getting up there and nothing's happening. We're there for like an hour and like it's, I'm kind of laughing it off because they're doing the whole like, is there anyone here? If there's someone here, speak to us. <laughs> and it's just like, come on, what is going on? This is so cheesy, yeah. right? And so I'm thinking, I'm not scared anymore because it's kind of died down, nothing's happened. So yeah. I'm going to go off by myself, right? I take a right down a hallway. Which is they, crazy they, to me, by the way. They, because yeah, for e sure. Even if I like was like i don't believe in ghosts yeah like just a like in this just a airbnb dark, a yeah. dark hallway yeah. i'm like mm -mm. yeah 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 the and, stairs and, itself but that's, going down but that's just how yeah. much i love it like i'll watch scary movies at home by myself because yeah, i just that's love that crazy. thrill so like a fun fact about andy you know the movie <laughs> seven yeah with brad pitt yeah 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 yeah. he falls asleep to that oh. because it's it's a creepy movie that's darkly lit I, I watched perfect. it once and I couldn't sleep for a week. <laughs> I literally I don't know could not is. sleep for a week. Yeah, it's uh, Kelsey probably hates it, but I don't mind it. I just yeah. wake up at two o'clock in the morning to you Brad Pitt saying, "What's in the box?" <laughs> <laughs> it's just oh, oh good morning. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so rested. Um, so I go down this hallway and it's kind of uh, you know a T. So you have a left and a right at the end of the hallway. You can go down, and I take a left, and immediately when I get to the end. I hear a noise. It's almost like someone talking or like someone's uh, like moved a no. door or something. Yeah. No, no, no. At no. behind at the end of the hallway, no. like the room at the end of the other hallway. And so I turn around, and my gut kind of just you know, just like, oh my goodness. Yeah. And so I walk down there 
and I just feel weird. You know how you just like when yeah, you're, yeah. you're taking you're the trash spying. out at night, yeah. and you're like you're like scared a, as a kid, yeah. and you run back Dog. in. Like yeah. you feel it yeah. behind exactly. you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like and you know nothing. I feel like there's something behind me now. Like as you're telling the story, I don't want to look left or right. Jace looks behind him. I feel him. like there's something Jace looks on my behind. shoulders <laughs> literally right now. And yeah. the way you guys. Yeah. yeah. He looks oh. behind and it's him as a, as a little kid <laughs> with a ghost. <laughs> um, so It's Andrew. So I, I, I get kind of scared. I'm like, okay, whatever. I'm going to go back with the three other guys. So I go back and we're, you know, it's another couple hours. And it's getting to the point where it's like one o'clock in the morning. I don't want to be here anymore. Yeah. We've gone through every room. We spend like 20 minutes in every room. And it's just like, this is getting exhausting. I'm tired. And, and I realize I have to um, I'm sleeping by myself that night at the church because we have like an early event in the morning which so have, I'm just like I need to go. far from the building <laughs> uh, about 30 minutes okay and so I was just like I need to like I'm ready to go bed I'm, I'm ready to go so we, the, close the, enough for a ghost to float to <laughs> exactly <laughs> to travel yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah it's an easy commute for a ghost let's just say that <laughs> and so we um, how fast do you think ghosts travel at least 30 okay 30 what 30 miles? 30 feet 30 feet an hour <laughs> it's very slow <laughs> Depending on the breeze, they they really only travel when the wind's blowing because that's how they move. That's why there's so many ghosts that's, and hurricanes. Yeah, exactly. Jeez. If you move into a house with no air conditioning, you have no ghosts. They're okay. not traveling anywhere. That makes sense. It's just the wind. Yeah. Um, Thirty feet. So, <laughs> so we have one last room to go into, and it's the uh, the masseuse room. It's this person that just does like you know just massages and stuff, and it's just a Naturally. very yeah. it's a very small size of a bathroom, and there's just one table with like a closet, and that's it. There's two doors to enter um, into the this room, so we walk in, and what we do is they have like these, uh, um, I can't, I should have looked it up before I got it, but it's like an e meter or something like that. Yeah, well, mm-hmm. tell the story. Are you are you leading yeah. into yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. It's a it's a, it's a meter that uh, we first of all when we get there we have to turn off all of the Wi Fi everything everything yeah. in the house all your phones off everything's yeah. off yeah. the breakers are off going dark your phone is completely off. Um, because this thing we're going reads, dark. Exactly. Yeah. This thing reads up on anything uh, like radio transmitters or whatever. Yeah. And so we've checked it multiple times each room. There's no noise. It's it starts in green and there's like six lights and it goes from green to red. So you have like the yellow, orange, red, whatever. Okay. And if something interferes with it, it's going to like you know if it's like tiny radio in the distance, it'll yeah. maybe flicker the green a little bit. Yeah. Um, but it always stayed green, and then. But if it's anything in super intense, it's supposed to turn red. We hadn't seen red in hours, so I'm like, "This is dumb. I want to go home. I'm tired." We get to this masseuse room. We set it on the table, no. and we're sitting there, and we're and he's going through, and I'm literally, I have my head like this against the wall. They're all into it. Can I pause you real quick? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you tell the story of the masseuse though before you went? <laughs> oh yeah, into yeah, the yeah, room? yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, forgot about that. Um, the masseuse. Uh, the reason why we. Uh, the stories from that room specifically was there was this person laying down multiple, in right? multiple yeah this yeah. Is, I'm just talking about this one guy that like at least is laying down and his face is um, in, in the, the in Miss Seuss table so like he's, the, he could just see know, the ground you know in front of him are like, like lay down. actual yeah yeah, yeah he's, yeah, yeah, he's yeah, face yeah, down yeah. and he's he's getting yeah. he's getting prepped and everything like that and uh, the girl's talking to him and he knows her and everything like that and he, and he walks she walks out and then she walks back in yeah. um, another person no, like an assistant and uh, you know, doesn't say anything to him, and so and then she walks right out. But sees the feet. Sees, sees the feet. The it's barefoot. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She comes back in. I'm literally shaking because I'm telling the story. I haven't told the story in so long. I'm. Li- it's it's kind of scary. I still feel um, the person yeah, behind. Yeah, me, yeah so, I know. It's, yeah, it's scary. Um, so he uh, she walks back in. The masseuse walks back in, and he's just like he makes small talk, and then he says, um, "So uh, so when did you get an assistant?" And she says, "What?" Mm. Mm. He says, like, the girl that came in here, I just mm. assumed she was assistant because she got into the closet and everything mm. like that. And uh, and uh, she, had, like, he, she kind of, like, gasped a little mm. bit and, like, held her chest. And mm. he looked up at her, and she was, like, almost, like, her t- eyes were full of tears, apparently. No. What? No. <laughs> just the wig. <laughs> I'm telling such a serious story. <laughs> and so, and uh, and then she. Because <laughs> you did this. <laughs> oh, my, oh, my, oh, my, oh, my stars. Oh, my stars. What was that? She says, she says, that is not the first time that has happened. Um, but seriously, she says, that is not the first time that has ever happened. You, um, that like, uh, I've heard that multiple times. She uh, pretty much is like wanting to leave at this point. But then he talks to her and this is why we're there. Okay. And so this has happened multiple times. They've seen her on the staircase. They've seen her in rooms. They've seen. They've heard her on footsteps running and stuff. It's really, really creepy. And so yeah. we set the thing down on the table, 
and we're there for probably 30 minutes because it's like we haven't had anything so they're really trying at this point like they're like this this is the last shot and so um i you know i'm, I'm closing my eyes i'm leaning against the wall i'm about to pass out and then suddenly he says uh another variation of if you don't want to uh and if you if you want to talk if you're here but don't want to talk touch that thing no the meter the meter e meter and it will it will turn red that's how you communicate with us and it turns red full full red without flickering it's like it's like a electronic Ouija board at that point mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah Luigi board and Waluigi. I <laughs> <laughs> and then I I freak out. I literally grab my buddy's arm like that. Because at what point, what time is it? This, this is probably one or two in the morning. Okay. It's it's late. Nothing's we happened had, for an not hour or so. Not one thing, except for that voice I thought I heard. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Whatever. Oh, yeah. And so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so, we're, uh, we're tut, the, the thing goes red and then it dies down. And I look over at Caleb and I look at everyone's hands because I'm still skeptical. I'm still like, someone's on their phone. He's moving with a remote or something. And so I'm still skeptical. He asks another question. It turns red. No. So if it's if he said if it's uh, if it's a no, then don't touch it. If it's a yes, hit red. And then we ask, how old are you? How many years you've been alive? Touch that meter. No. It's a little girl, right? We see one. No. Blank. Two. Blank. Three, blank, four, blank, five, blank, six, blank, seven, blank. No. And then it stops. And then I'm I'm super skeptical. And I ask Caleb, I'm like, ask her again. Ask her the same <laughs> question. <laughs> and it happens again, but it's the red the red's longer. Like each time. I it's like I am, am seven, seven years <laughs> old. <laughs> and then another know, whatever. Um and so I'm panicking at this point. Like, yeah, I don't know sure. what to feel because I'm like, am I adrenaline? I'm excited yeah. because we finally gone. see something. Gone, yeah. By the way. But uh, yeah, dude, I, I so, had no idea what good to for do. You. Yeah. And so I'm looking at all their hands. I'm making sure no one's doing anything. I know no one's with us. And I know, I trust Caleb. I know that he's not going to just do like, just try to scare me or something. Right. Sure. This is not a big prank. And so we start asking more questions and it gets to the point where we're not getting a ton of responses now. Okay. There's just nothing happening. Yeah. And then he asks, uh, oh, golly, were you, were you hurt in this building? No. <laughs> and it's held down on red for like five no, seconds. No, 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 no. <laughs> Terrifying. And then at this point, this is when we're like, we, it's probably been 30 minutes of asking questions and everything. And I'm like panicking. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm getting sweaty and stuff. And like, yeah. we're all looking around at each other and Caleb's getting excited. And so he's like, we're going to milk this thing. And uh, after a few, yeah, we're trying so to get as much success at this point. This yeah, he's, he's, yeah, he's, he's excited because this is this is one of the most successes he's probably ever had. <laughs> <Yeah>. uh, <laughs> this is a, a success story. Yes, <laughs> this is one of his success stories. Um, but now we know. Uh, yes. Now you know yes, what a success This is what success looks like. Uh, <laughs> and so he asks, our final question is, do you want us to leave? Touch yes. And it, and it touch yes if you want us to leave. And it turned red, and then it pa- we pause, no. and then we kind of like Caleb's kind of like. He asked one more question. He asked one more time. Are you sure you don't want to talk to us anymore? Do you want us to leave? The thing turns red and pivots. Oh no no no! Moves on the table. No. I grab his arm again, and he says. Okay, thank you. You do not have permission to leave with us. Apparently, that's a thing they say. Okay. And it says, and he closes it out and grabs the thing, and we leave. And I walk out that door. You walk. We we walk I out the dude. I'd be running. I we walked out the door, and the first thing I did, I grabbed Caleb and I looked him in the eye and I said, "Listen, that was the best time you ever had." I said, "This is not cool. <laughs> <laughs> if you're lying to me, yeah, yeah, this is not cool. You need to tell me the truth." Were you messing with that? And he and he promised me, and you could tell like he was like he was he was being a true friend at that moment. He says, "That's legit." No. 
This was, this this was legit. Because I'm not going to lie. Listen, there were times. This is, there was times when we were in like we this. We were successful tonight. <laughs> I was not messing with Why you. Why are we, we were successful. Success so much? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Because there were times where it's like I we were like I was like we were in this basement and I would like pick up something and I would throw it across the way and just so that like they heard something and I would yeah. you know, like that was me, but that's not um, so that's why I was like that's why I was like this is uh, you know this could be a gag yeah yeah and he promised me it's not <clears throat> this is legit and so what I did is I got in my car and I drove uh, to sleep in my office like, at a like church two yeah. or three in the morning three o'clock in the morning okay I get to the church at three in the morning. By myself, and I go to my office because I have a couch in there I was going to sleep in, and I did not sleep. Naturally. It was, yeah. dude, I'm telling you, it was the most terrifying night of my life. And it was one of those things I only went because I truly in my mind believed there is nothing else out there. Yeah. I don't know if it was a ghost or a spirit or what, but I was convinced there's nothing. As long as you walk 60 feet an hour, <laughs> your <laughs> ghost you're safe. won't catch yeah. you. Yeah. At, at, yeah. at minimum, 31 <laughs> yeah. feet per hour. At minimum, yeah, yeah. 31 <laughs> feet an hour. Yeah. You're so, good. Yeah, so that's my ghost story, my Halloween story um, that I will tell. Uh, and it's still, like, literally, it just gives me butterflies to even thinking about it. And it was... it was Butterflies. Like, yeah. Do it, and it, like, oh, butterflies. Gives you butterflies. <gasps> what? Are ninjas? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Um, but there's a follow-up. <laughs> Oh, oh gosh, yeah. This is the biggest part. Yeah. yeah. The I biggest like, part. I, I literally felt I was like, I was like, where is this going? Okay, so um I'm just that, gonna, so that's well, the end of the story. Let me just say something real quick. Yeah. <laughs> With your wig right now. <laughs> Elvis meets Karen. It's what? it's you are reminding me of my grandma. So it's like Gammy. Gammy. Who was like Yeah, Gammy just told you a ghost story. Yeah. yeah. Don't trick or treat, <laughs> sweetie. You can't. And this is why. Because one time because I went to a small town in Kansas. My friend had a success story. <laughs> <laughs> and so um, that was the end of the story. Or so I thought, right? So he so, thought. And so that's, that's the classic. Doom, doom, that's doom. the famous yeah. last words. And so we, we go weeks, uh, you know, just... Just I, you know, I share the story with my, you know, my even some of my teenagers, my youth at the time in the, in the church. And, and I, I warned wow. them. I, I warned them. I said, do, do not do this. Because it's yeah. like... I. I know no, you may be don't thinking, mess around like, with yeah, it. like don't. And if you're Why? listening, don't do yeah, it. It's don't do dumb. It. It's so dumb because it's just you're opening it, up things that you shouldn't. Even yeah. if it's not as real, you're still. It it's not mentally. It's not good for your mental health or spiritually. Yeah, yeah. at all. Yeah. And so, um, so we a couple weeks later, Caleb texts me and he says, "Dude, you're you're not going to believe this." And he says that noise you heard in that room. We had a spike in that room. At no. That time. He said there was yeah. something I no. found. We didn't have anything, any any visual, uh, any audio or the for the whole night except yeah. for one thing. And I, and my heart stopped for a second. Yeah. And then, he, but then he told me it was in the room that I told him about. And then I really started freaking out. And so he's like, "Are do you want? Do you want to listen to it?" Because he asked me, and I said, "Yeah, I'll." Uh, this is real. I'll listen yeah. to it. This, this is, is real. real. This yeah. is real. This is a real this recording real. So from my buddy Caleb. This is a real recording from my buddy Caleb during the ghost hunting. All right, you ready? It's a fart. No. Ah, I hate that. Did, did you hear what that was? Are you kidding that, me? That Are literally, you? I've heard this multiple times, and that I still have goosebumps I'm freaking down out. to my toes. That, that's. Do it. Do it one do more you, time. Did you hear what? What? Do you know what was said? You know what that sounded like? What? No, again. wait. Do you? Uh, I we know what it, we think it says, but we don't. That I want you to play, say. It. Play it one more time. That's listen, crazy. Let me hear what you think. Just listen. Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. Okay, what what what's your what do you think? What do you think was said? We we came to the conclusion it says like my name is and then Keegan or something. No. We don't. No, 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 no. no, no. You, you, what did you hear? Andy, yeah, Andy Denoon. Denoon. Legit. Stop. No, no, stop. play it, play it. No, play I'm it. dead serious. What bro. did you hear? I'm about to. You I heard Andy? I'm so scared, God, bro. I okay. hear, that's what I heard. I okay, hear let me, Andy. Let me listen to it again. Let me I'm listen. To it. I'm, I'm, boosting, so I'm boosting the audio. I've, I'm boosting I've the never, audio. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this to. I'm actually scared, to John. This because I've never heard. I've never heard. You've never heard. You've never caught that. I've never heard my name. This is the first time we've listened. But two people just said that. Through a compressor, I'm so scared. I'm gonna have to. Wait, okay, so, wait, 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 wait. No. What do you think it said? Andy 
Andy Danoon. Danoon. Wait, no, I I'm. Just that's that's what it was. I hear. Bro, you can't Unless sleep somewhere there's else. There's no tonight. question. You gotta, Maybe this is one of those those gags. Like, do you no, hear? No, like, it's not a joke. Or do you hear chicken you, noodle? You both. Okay, no, no. I so, so hear Andy this. Danoon. This is what happened. Andy's told me the story before. We were someplace else, and then he was like, "I forgot what it was because it was of no consequence. It just said something." But we're in headphones. I yeah. can hear it better. Yeah, yeah. It's through a compressor. Yeah. And I, for the first time yeah. ever, hearing this story and hearing that audio before, mm -hmm. just I'm freaking out. Because there is no doubt in my mind I see, that that's I see what the it hallway. said. I, when I hear yeah. that, Ew. I see the hallway. Ah! I see the hallway with a silhouette of yeah. a little girl. Oh my gosh! I geez. don't know why I'm saying this. Stop! Play it. Okay, play it. Play it. Play wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Right. Before you play it, can you restart his camera? Because we're at uh, 24 minutes. <laughs> wait to like take the tension out. You're good. You're good. All right. So I'll play it one I'm, more time. I'm Let's actually, just listen. Let me do like so a little scared. sound bite. All right. Okay, okay, here we go. Okay. I hear, bro, without the headphones, without the headphones, I can, I can, bro, it's, it's as clear as day. You've never heard that. Yo, this is so, this is successful, bro. This is success all day long. <laughs> you know. This is so, you heard it, Josh? Finally? You've never heard. I've never I'm even. I'm so scared right I've now. I've never heard that yeah. in my life. That literally. Why did Why did this girl want to talk to I'm you and not cry. anyone else? I really. I, really I don't want to. Can we go home? I'm so <laughs> can scared. We drive? I don't I'm even so want to. Ben, have home. you heard it yet? No. I okay. Oh, okay. Right, relax. Right, right, I'm right, giving it. Right. Give the headphones. Yeah. Okay. Let's play this for this the fifth time. This isn't fake. This is like legit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I can't even hear my name is like, Keegan anymore. How many, how many times like, I've I'm, heard that recording I'm at least 40 to, times. I'm starting to want to cry. Okay, <laughs> I'm starting can, to want to cry. We call, just a little bit. I, I don't know I'm why. I'm actually freaked out. <laughs> yeah. Just, I, like, actually, I've heard this story so many times. Five to six times. <laughs> I've told this story a million times. And every time I've heard it, I've heard, my, <laughs> na my name's Keegan. That's what I've heard. Did you hear what I said? That's, that's all here. That's the first time I've heard, Andy... And it's so clear. Oh, I'm freaked out, dude. No, I'm freaked out. I don't even know what to think no. right now. <laughs> Thanks for watching. We're gonna. I'm cry. so scared to say this, something right I now. Really, this I might just, be our last. Because I told you this story I? three years ago. Yeah, and, and it wasn't like if like yeah, it wasn't one of those things where it's like I'm trying to. I can, if this was fake, I would be like, oh, like oh, it says my name, right? Yeah. I I've ju I'm just now coming to the realization. The fact that they both that it heard sounds that. really kind of similar. Wait, I'm sorry. What that. did you think it said before? Uh, we we, we, we thought it said like my name's uh, Keegan. Yeah. Caleb, oh. one, Caleb, one last time, I want to hear when Caleb did, when Caleb sent this to me. Yeah. He said this is what it says. That's what I can get out of yeah, it. Yeah, so yeah. maybe in my is, mind, yeah. My name is. So he kind of. And he's the professional. Which Keegan is my brother-in-law. So my married to my sister. So. Keegan. Keegan's a ghost. Keegan's a girl ghost, that was m murdered a hundred years ago, <laughs> and is seven years old. <gasps> Keegan, watch your back, bro. <laughs> Don't be right. haunting yeah, my so sister. Yeah, so that was. So that was my story, and I didn't think it was going to take that turn, but um, I did. Yeah, bro. I'm freaked out. <laughs> where, where, where? Yeah. Woo. That's super hmm. weird. Oh. What do you, so? What are your thoughts, Jace? What are uh, your thoughts? Man, I'll tell you this. Like in in the Filipino culture, like um, I've heard so like there's a for some reason there's always some sort of lady in a white dress or a yep. girl in a white dress on a dark and stormy road, and you almost hit her. So when I heard, mm. you know, when I heard white a girl in a white dress, I'm just like, oh, maybe it's not a cultural thing. Maybe it's just a universal it's, I outfit. Feel like it's a common thing. Yeah. Maybe I was a ghost for. Halloween. You were wait. You were though. I was a ghost, even though I was looking through one through the through one eye one hole. eye hole. Um, I'm scared right now. Yeah, I can't yeah. Laugh I, I'm, at I'm trying to recover right yeah. now because I'm actually freaked out. I don't know that I'm gonna. Recover. I love that. The, like they took all of this to us hear that to hear that. It's bro. <laughs> it's like I would have gone for the rest clear. of my life. But I thought that was the kicker. That's the thing. I thought That's crazy I thought, was, to I thought me. that was the kicker until I saw. Because I because I went in with a preconceived. This is what it says. Ooh. It says my name is. Yeah. Play it one more time. I, I, and just yeah. no, listen. Yeah. Listen, hear listen for my name is. Okay. Like Keegan. Put your thing first. My 
yeah, that's just burned into my brain now. Like that's super burned in my brain. Um, so okay, like <laughs> I'm yeah. in denial at this point. I'm just in denial. It's Wait. just I've I like I what? Have this, what the flip little seven year old girl is named Keegan what? from a hundred years that was, ago. Who knows? That was so deep. But, like like I had this weird feeling in my throat. <laughs> I've never. I think this is the scaredest I've ever. Yeah, I feel, I feel like I'm gonna throw yeah. up off this balcony. Yeah. I'm so scared right now. No. Happy Halloween, everybody! Happy Halloween! Thanks for tuning in. Uh, Once again, I cannot preface this enough. Don't do this. <laughs> don't don't mess with this because guys. it's. Yeah. I, listen, I went back and I told this story to a lot of my friends, and a lot of my friends are Christians and strong believers, and they warned me. They're like, first of all, you are a dummy. Yeah. For doing that. Yeah, let's You're op- don't open yourself up to say certain this. things. Guys, we believe in Christ and do not don't mess with the spiritual realm. Yeah. Like there's demonic powers. Mm-hmm. This, we sound <laughs> like a, like a, <laughs> Amen. Yeah. Yes. Keep on Preach pastor it. preaching no, on. No, but for real, don't mess with this stuff. Like no. it's scriptural. Like no. don't mess with this stuff. Like we're told not to mess with this stuff. We have our faith in Christ. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm speaking this up. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so <scared> right now. <laughs> we are safe. We are protected. Uh, no, but for real, like yeah. Christ, Christ is well, our protector. But so, like, just don't mess with this stuff. Yeah. yeah. The, best, no, we, the best part of the story right now is that we're in an Airbnb on a roof, and I hope that there's someone on the roof next door just <laughs> freaking yeah, yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, because it, it's, 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 op- it's, it's, it's an open air ceiling, and so there's a room over there, a balcony, and a balcony over there. Yeah. And so we don't know. There could be people over there that are listening to this that are like, I'm scared too. Yeah. And I haven't even heard the yeah. recording. No, there's, they're they're going to go listen. Back. They're going to be like yelling through the walls. Yeah. The yeah. Andy, oh didn't they? <laughs> oh, oh man! Shut, dude. Ooh. I don't. Ooh. I don't. Yeah, like I don't know how to feel about that. I'm gonna have to go. Yeah. I'm gonna have to call my wife, and I'm probably have to call Caleb Jeez. after this. Please, no. Gosh. Oh yeah. So thanks for listening to that story. That was fun. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We should have had a, like a bowl of nerds or <laughs> Kit Kats around us gonna, or something. You want to go watch a, like a really happy movie right now? Yeah. yeah let's go <laughs> watch a rom com. Yeah. Starring Matthew McConaughey. Let's just stay up all night. We should just take shifts staying up all night, making sure. Hey, hey wake up. Yeah. Yo, yeah. yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Someone go check on Andy. <laughs> He's just levitating. <laughs> oh, no, 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 man. Stop. I'm, I'm Andy, why are you like, wearing a dress I'm in right the now? Bunk, I'm oh. in the bunk above him. I'm oh, just going to be man. sleeping it's in my, my nightgown. <laughs> <laughs> it's my nightgown. <laughs> why are you barefoot? <laughs> why are you glowing? What if we, we didn't know, but you slept in a nightgown? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just. I'm gonna oh lean over. I'm gonna lean over the bunk tonight. Just <laughs> and I and I only use hoverboards, so you just see me floating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh. Oh, oh man! Thanks, thanks for that was a good episode. Thank. Uh, was it? No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive right yeah. now. <laughs> I'm yep. shook. Yeah, Woo. so we'll leave we you there. We can't go to bed, like, now. <laughs> yeah, this is great. We're not sleeping tonight. Oh, yep. man. I'm not. I have melatonin. We'll be all right. I'm just going to hear that in my head all night now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to play it on a Bluetooth speaker at 2 a.m. Th- this is going to be my scary story to everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. So there's one on the fun so this, note, oh, we'll yeah. change the recording so you could personalize it towards <laughs> yourself. <laughs> Chase. <laughs> Brand manager <laughs> at Sunday Cool. That bear, Why are you so specific? Yeah. That bear like uh, voicemail at Sunday Cool. <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> yeah. oh. Press seven for Andy. Andy. We should oh, we should be you. Yeah. That should be your extension. Yeah, Yo, you're gonna have so many phone calls this week. <laughs> Press six for John Rucker. <laughs> Press seven for Carl Hooper. Press eight for Andy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I hang up. Press nine for HR. Your voicemail is just. <laughs> Save me. Nope. Oh man. Oh man. <laughs> Why did you leave? I miss oh, you. I miss no. you. Oh, I need no. to pee. <laughs> I'm on my way, but if- I can only go thirty feet an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so, look, if we make it to the top ten in the United States, will we go back to that house and film an episode? <laughs> oh, oh. I don't think there's on a, Halloween. I don't, I don't think there's anything that can <laughs> on the tenth anniversary. The number one podcast in America. Sure, let's do it. Okay, yeah. <laughs> number one. If we oh, hit man. number one in comedy, 
in the U.S. <laughs> <laughs> I've never wanted an unsuccess in my life. Yeah. Yeah. I've never prayed Let's for see. unsuccess in Don't my life. review this podcast. Stop listening. <laughs> don't share this with people <laughs> no. because we do we don't not want, want to hit success. number one. I will be no putting out here. applications to happen. not be involved yeah. in that. No. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, yeah. man. All right, guys. Good night. Thanks for watching. Yeah. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit that bell. To get notified every time we upload. Jace. Um, you want to plug anything? I know your uh, your sister is hitting some recent uh, success. Oh, my sister. Um, you guys said bakery. I look like my sister. By yeah, the way, you do. When let's, I, let's show a picture of your sister <laughs> right next to Jace. <laughs> <laughs> she does baked goods if you're in the yeah, Orlando area. Yeah, she does area. baked goods. Um, she just started doing baked goods. Does she ship? Uh, she could ship. Ooh. If her brother if would they, build her website. If they pay for shipping. Yes. But com- it's comment fair. below. It's well worth we'll, it. We'll put it put in the link um, in the description. <laughs> link in <laughs> description. Link yeah. in bio. Yeah, link what about you, though? Link in bow. Ah. Uh, wow. Plug my mom. Oh, Dude, Jace's mom <laughs> makes the most fire. Sophie's Kitchen. At Sophie's Kitchen. Food on Instagram. Yeah, check it out. On Instagram. So good. But don't order. Yeah, She's don't, one don't little order. old lady. She won't be able to take any type just, of order. Yeah, just it, go encourage her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Tell her she's doing a great job. Yeah, just, just say Give hey. her a shout out. <laughs> she cannot handle any more orders. She's got enough. Yeah. yeah. But she just would like the recognition, I'm sure. And you guys will never understand how good her food is. <laughs> Sophie. She's the best. I love you. Yes. <laughs> All right. All right. Good podcast. Love you. I'm love you. so scared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Woo! This is Halloween. This is what Halloween. What's it? All right, one this last one last word from our sponsor. Brought to you by and Josh Hooper. Here we go. Oh, bye bye. Woo! I hate it. Nice. <laughs> it's so oh. Ninjas are butterflies. <laughs> Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. The butterfly. That's an empty line. You learn martial arts. Fucking does not The D noon is so. It's, to me, in my mind now, it's I can't unhear it. Yes. Can you because it sounds like D noon. Yeah. It's been.